that um, and some people just causes fever and them not feeling well and kind of feeling run down but the most common sign is that people get swelling of their glands like their saliva glands their product glands so around their cheeks and underneath their chin the big concern that people have is that it can cause um, swelling of their brain or it can cause swelling of their testes it can cause swelling of your ovaries um, and it, that can lead to long-term complications for some people. Anyone who's not vaccinated is at risk, but we see it most in um, really populated areas like dorms, um, universities. Most of the outbreaks have taken place on university campuses. It is spread through uh, droplet exposure. So if you cough or sneeze and you have the drops that land on like the countertops and then the person touches the counter and then touches their nose or their mouth, it's spread that way. And it can live on the counter for a couple hours. If you're exposed to mumps, it takes 12 to 20 days till you start seeing any symptoms. And then it can take up to two weeks for the symptoms to go away. You are contagious five days before you notice swelling of your glands until five days after. So even before you start showing symptoms, you're already contagious to other people. The only treatment is supportive care, like trying to help people manage their pain, trying to make sure that they stay hydrated if they can't eat because of the swelling. I'm helping them with breathing if their swelling is so great that they have a hard time breathing. Um, helping them with fevers, um, but vaccination is the only way to prevent the disease. There's no actual treatments for it. We vaccinate children for mumps at 12 months, and we also vaccinate them at four to six before they go off to kindergarten. It used to be that we only recommended one mumps vaccine, and, but the vaccine for mumps isn't quite as effective as measles, so it, it's about 80, 85% effective. So we try to give a second dose so we make sure that we catch some people that maybe didn't respond the first time around.